I want to turn now to our medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, with some questions about radiation and the body, Rich. We heard David Muir tell us that those who are right around the worst of the site could see immediately the effects of radiation poisoning. What do you do if that happens? Well, Diane, you know, what you're going to see, radiation affects your entire body, but what you're going to see early on is radiation affecting the parts of the body where cells divide very quickly, and that's your gastrointestinal tract. You're going to see nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. The same kinds of things someone has when they're going through radiation treatment for cancer. That will let you know you've had a big dose of, of, of radiation. And again, we're talking about acute radiation poisoning with those symptoms. I want to move out to the wider circumference of people who've been told to stay inside or try to evacuate. What are the effects on small children? And what about pregnant women? And what about breast milk? Well, you know, one of the big effects that you want to try and prevent is the development of thyroid cancer. And the reason that's a risk, and it's a risk in particular to young children and pregnant women, is that the thyroid gland in your neck takes in iodine. And iodine is one of those radioactive elements released very early from a reactor. So that comes into your body, it goes into your thyroid gland where you make a thyroid hormone. You can block that, though, by giving people potassium iodide. Those are the pills that are being distributed. You can protect them from thyroid cancer. Right, but I want to show everybody this pill because we've all been issued them here, these tiny pills. You have to be careful, don't you, about taking them for too long a period, especially children? Well, you definitely don't want to take them unless it's necessary. If you're being exposed to ongoing radioactive iodine, taking those pills far outseeds any risk. However, they can be a risk to very young babies. They can cause mental retardation. You don't want to use them without guidance. You want to listen to the recommendations and follow them very closely. And we want to thank you, Rich Besser, and tell everyone that you're going to post more information about radiation and the body online.